Hi, this is a walkthrough for creating row replication inside of PowerPoint. In our example, we are looking at the ACMECO account record, which contains a related object with call records, and we want to produce a new row for each call related to the account. To begin, we must navigate to the DDPs tab, choose our DDP, then once we're inside our DDP, ensure that there is a basic relationship between our child and parent object. In this case there is between the call and account. Then we must make sure that the copy type is set equal to row. Once we've confirmed this, we can begin. Start by opening up the field tagger and selecting call as your main object. You also want to ensure that the document type is set to PowerPoint. Next, we must gain access to our PowerPoint document. Once we have access to our PowerPoint document, we can begin tagging. In our example, we must create a new slide. We'll call it call information. And then we must insert a new table. Once we have inserted the new table, we can go ahead and start labeling the headers. Once all headers are labeled, we can begin tagging the document. Select the child record in the main object dropdown, then choose the replicate row tag. This should be the first tag that appears in the first column of data. Next, we must choose each tag for the appropriate field label, starting with the call name, then moving on to the call type, and then finally the call duration. Once we have all of our tags inside of our PowerPoint table, we can go ahead and save, then upload or replace this document inside of Salesforce. Once the document is saved or replaced, we can give it a test run by navigating to a record on the DDP object. Once again, I want to note that there is four calls related to this account record. Now as we push the loop plus button, we can choose a contact if necessary, as well as an account and delivery option. Once our document is processed, we can open it up in the web browser or download it to our desktop and confirm that the information has merged correctly. And as you can see, a new row of data has been inserted into PowerPoint for each call related to the account. And that's how you replicate rows in PowerPoint. Thank you. Hi, this is a walkthrough for creating slide replication in PowerPoint. In our example, we have an account record with a related object that contains call records, and we want to create a new slide for each call in this object. To begin, we must first navigate to the DDPs tab, choose the DDP, and then confirm that there is already a relationship established between the child object and the parent object with a copy type of table. Next, we must tag up our document, which we've already done. So here is our table that has the table replication tag as well as some call fields. Now we're going to save it 
and upload it to Salesforce. So we're going to select the new button, choose a folder, and then select the document from our desktop. Once the document is chosen, we must give it a name, save the file, and then return to the DDP page and insert it into the Select Files section of the DDP Detail page. We do this by choosing a folder and then dragging our file into the middle grid. Once we save that, the DDP is set up for table replication. Now we just need to go to a record on our DDP object, select the Loop Plus button, choose the DDP, and then run. And if we set up the document correctly, we should see a new slide created for each call record on this account. Now there was four calls, so we should have four slides for each call table. Here's our PowerPoint document. Now once we download it, we can open it up and confirm that one new slide was created for each call record. And as you can see, there is one slide for each call record related to the account. And that is how you use slide replication in PowerPoint. Thank you. Hi, this is a walkthrough for creating hierarchy replication in PowerPoint. In our example, we will reference a related list of contacts associated to an account. If we select the list, we can see each contact's title. And if we select a contact, we can also see who the contact reports to. And if we select the view org chart link, we can clearly see an org chart of who each person reports to. This can be replicated in PowerPoint. To begin, we must first navigate to our DDP and then create a new relationship between our child object and our parent object. So for our example, we're going to create a relationship between the contact object and the account object and ensure that the copy type is set as hierarchy. Then we must choose which field is referenced in the org chart, which is the reports to ID. Next, we're going to save. And then open up the field tagger. We must ensure that the correct document type is selected as well as the correct child object in the main object dropdown. We're going to go ahead and grab our replication tag before we open up the document. Next, we must gain access to our PowerPoint. And once we have access, we must begin tagging. In our example, we must create a new slide, delete any irrelevant elements to this PowerPoint slide, and insert a smart art. You can choose whichever pattern you like, but it must be hierarchy. Once you select OK, be sure to delete any extra hierarchy elements that are in your hierarchy chart. We only want one component to the hierarchy chart for tags. So to begin, we must first insert the replication tag. Copy and paste your replication tag into the hierarchy chart. Then navigate through your child object fields and include any other tags that you want to appear within your hierarchy chart. In our example, we're going to include the contact name as well as the contact's email address. And we will also be including each contact's business phone number. Once you've tagged your document, save it to your desktop 
and then upload or replace the document within Salesforce. Once the document is saved within Salesforce, it's ready for a test run. Navigate to a record on your DDP object, select the Loop Plus button, choose a contact if necessary in addition to your DDP and delivery option, and select Run. Once the document has been processed, you can download it or view it in your browser and confirm that the information was merged correctly. And as you can see, the org chart was successfully merged with the contact's name, email, and phone number. And that is how you have hierarchy replication in PowerPoint. Thank you.